Hello and welcome to our tutorial on creating generative art with Midjourney AI. In this video, we'll show you how to create stunning and unique pieces of art using Midjourney's powerful generative algorithms. This video is the perfect place to start. In this video, we'll provide an overview of what Midjourney AI is and show you some of its incredible capabilities and features. Whether you're interested in creating beautiful designs for print-on-demand products, experimenting with generative art, or just exploring new creative tools. Midjourney AI is an exciting and innovative platform that can help you achieve your goals. So, let's dive in and discover everything you need to know about Midjourney AI. Midjourney AI offers a wide range of tools and features for artists, designers, and creatives. One of the most exciting features of Midjourney AI is its ability to create generative art using custom prompts and settings. To get started with creating generative art, you can choose from a variety of preset prompts or create your own custom prompt to suit your specific needs. Here, you can select from a variety of options, including color schemes, shapes, and patterns, and customize them to create a truly unique piece of art. Once you've selected your prompts, you can use Midjourney AI's powerful algorithms to create a generative piece of art. As you can see, the possibilities are endless with Midjourney AI, you can experiment with different prompts and settings to create a wide range of unique and stunning artworks. In addition to creating generative art, Midjourney AI also offers a range of other features and tools for creatives, including print-on-demand design and custom branding materials. With Midjourney AI, you can create designs for print-on-demand products such as t-shirts, phone cases, and mugs. You can also create custom branding materials, logos, and other visual assets to help promote your business or project. Midjourney AI offers a wide range of tools and features for artists, designers, and creatives. One of the most exciting features of Midjourney AI is its ability to create beautiful designs for print-on-demand products with just a few clicks. To get started, select the Print-on-Demand option from the Midjourney AI dashboard. Here, you'll be able to choose from a variety of product types and templates to begin designing your product. Let's say we want to design a t-shirt. We can choose from a variety of templates or create our own custom design from scratch. Once we've selected our template, we can use Midjourney AI's powerful design tools to create a unique and eye-catching design. Midjourney AI offers a range of design tools, including shape and text tools, color palettes, and pattern generators to help you create a one-of-a-kind design. Here's an example of how we can use these tools to create a t-shirt design that's both stylish and on-brand. Once we've finished our design, we can preview it on the product and make any final adjustments before sending it to production. And that's it. Our design is now ready to be printed and shipped to customers. With Midjourney AI, it's easy to create stunning designs for print-on-demand products that are sure to impress. Midjourney AI is an incredibly powerful tool that offers a wide range of features and capabilities for creatives. In this tutorial, we're going to focus on some of the advanced techniques that you may not be aware of. One of the most powerful features of Midjourney AI is its ability to create custom prompts. With custom prompts, you can guide the AI to generate designs that are tailored to your specific needs and preferences. To create a custom prompt, simply go to the Custom Prompts tab in the Midjourney AI dashboard and follow the prompts to create your own. Once you've created your custom prompt, you can use it to generate unique and highly personalized designs. For example, if you're designing a logo for a specific brand, you can use a custom prompt to generate designs that are specific to that brand's aesthetic and personality. Another advanced technique for using Midjourney AI is integrating it with other tools and platforms. For example, you can use Midjourney AI to generate designs for social media posts, email campaigns, or even websites. To integrate Midjourney AI with other tools, you can use APIs and other integrations to connect Midjourney AI with the tools you use every day. With Midjourney AI, you can generate stunning designs for a wide range of use cases, from print-on-demand products to social media and beyond. One of the most popular ways to make money with Midjourney AI is by selling your designs on print-on-demand platforms. These platforms allow you to upload your designs, and they'll take care of everything else, from manufacturing to shipping to customer support. Some popular print-on-demand platforms include Redbubble, Society6, and Teespring. To get started, simply create an account, upload your designs, and start promoting them to your audience. 
Another great way to make money with Midjourney AI is by creating and selling generative art. Generative art is a unique form of art that's created using algorithms and randomness, which makes each piece completely unique. With Midjourney AI, you can create stunning generative art pieces that are sure to catch the eye of art collectors and enthusiasts. To get started, experiment with different prompts and settings to see what kind of art you can create. Once you've created your generative art pieces, you can sell them on platforms like Etsy, Saatchi Art, or even your own website. Be sure to promote your work on social media and other channels to reach a wider audience. These are just a few examples of how you can make money with Midjourney AI, but there are many other ways to monetize your creativity with this tool. You can also offer design services to clients, create digital products like wallpapers or stickers, or even teach others how to use Midjourney AI. First, let's start with an overview of the different Midjourney AI versions. As you can see from this comparison chart, each version builds on the features of the previous version and introduces new ones. Now, let's dive into the new features and capabilities of Midjourney V5. One of the biggest updates in V5 is the improved prompts and responses, which allow for more natural and realistic conversations with the AI. As you can see from this demo, Midjourney V5 is much better at understanding the context of your prompts and providing relevant and helpful responses. In addition to improved prompts and responses, Midjourney V5 also includes new tools for working with images, such as the ability to remove backgrounds and add effects. It also includes enhanced tools for creating and modifying text, such as the ability to adjust the font, spacing, and alignment. Finally, let's talk about the performance and speed of Midjourney V5. According to the Midjourney team, V5 is significantly faster and more efficient than previous versions, which means you can create more designs in less time. And there you have it, an overview of the new features and capabilities of Midjourney V5. Whether you're a seasoned Midjourney user or just getting started, we hope this guide has been helpful in understanding the differences between Midjourney AI versions. The first step in designing a t-shirt with Midjourney AI is to select a prompt. This can be a word, phrase, or idea that you want to base your design on. For this tutorial, let's select the prompt, Beach Vibes. Once you've entered your prompt, Midjourney AI will generate a variety of design options based on your input. You can browse through the options and select the one that best fits your vision. Now it's time to modify the design to make it truly unique. You can change the colors, font, and other design elements using Midjourney AI's intuitive tools. Once you're happy with your design, it's time to export it for printing on your t-shirt. You can do this directly from Midjourney AI or save the design and upload it to your favorite print-on-demand platform. And there you have it, a unique and stylish t-shirt design created with Midjourney AI. Whether you're a professional designer or just getting started, we hope this tutorial has been helpful in showing you how to use Midjourney AI to bring your creative vision to life. One of the first tips for using Midjourney AI for graphic design is to customize your prompt to be as specific as possible. For example, instead of entering logo, you could enter minimalist logo with geometric shapes for more tailored results. When Midjourney AI generates design options, don't be afraid to explore all the variations available. You can select a design that you like and modify it to better suit your needs. Another tip for graphic designers is to integrate Midjourney AI with other tools you use. For example, you can use Midjourney AI to generate unique illustrations or patterns and then import them into a program like Adobe Illustrator for further editing. Midjourney AI can also be used to create branded materials, such as business cards, letterheads, and social media graphics. Simply enter your brand name or key phrases related to your brand and let Midjourney AI generate options for you. Once you've created your design using Midjourney AI, you can easily export it for use in a variety of formats, including PNG, SVG, and PDF. And there you have it, some tips and tricks for using Midjourney AI to create stunning graphic designs. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, Midjourney AI can help you achieve your creative vision in no time. Midjourney AI is an incredible tool for generative art, and it can be used to create stunning and complex designs. But did you know that you can also use Midjourney AI to create interactive art pieces? By using prompts that focus on user interaction, we can create art that engages and interacts with the viewer. 
One of the first steps in creating interactive art with Midjourney AI is to customize your prompt to focus on interactivity. For example, instead of just entering abstract shapes, you could enter interactive abstract shapes that respond to user input. When Midjourney AI generates design options, explore all the variations available to see how they might be used in an interactive piece. Look for designs that have potential for user input, such as shapes that can change or move in response to user actions. Once you have your designs, it's time to create your interactive installation. Depending on your project, you might need to use additional tools or programming languages to bring your Midjourney AI designs to life. You can use platforms like Processing or P5.js to create interactive web-based projects, or hardware like Arduino or Raspberry Pi to create physical installations. And there you have it, using Midjourney AI to create interactive art pieces. The possibilities are endless, and with a little creativity and some coding skills, you can create art that engages and interacts with your audience in new and exciting ways. Midjourney AI is an incredible tool for generative art, and it can be used to create stunning and complex designs. But did you know that you can also use Midjourney AI to create interactive art pieces? By using prompts that focus on user interaction, we can create art that engages and interacts with the viewer. One of the first steps in creating interactive art with Midjourney AI is to customize your prompt to focus on interactivity. For example, instead of just entering abstract shapes, you could enter interactive abstract shapes that respond to user input. When Midjourney AI generates design options, explore all the variations available to see how they might be used in an interactive piece. Look for designs that have potential for user input, such as shapes that can change or move in response to user actions. Once you have your designs, it's time to create your interactive installation. Depending on your project, you might need to use additional tools or programming languages to bring your Midjourney AI designs to life. You can use platforms like Processing or P5.js to create interactive web-based projects, or hardware like Arduino or Raspberry Pi to create physical installations. And there you have it, using Midjourney AI to create interactive art pieces. The possibilities are endless, and with a little creativity and some coding skills, you can create art that engages and interacts with your audience in new and exciting ways. Write me a script for a YouTube video about Midjourney AI versus other AI art tools, a comparison. This video could compare Midjourney AI to other AI art tools on the market, exploring the strengths and weaknesses of each and highlighting the unique features of Midjourney. There are many other AI art tools available in the market, such as DeepArt, Artbreeder, and Runway ML, to name a few. Each tool has its unique features and capabilities. For example, DeepArt has a strong neural style transfer feature that allows you to apply a specific style to an image. On the other hand, Artbreeder focuses on character design and has a broad range of templates to choose from. When it comes to the comparison between Midjourney AI and other AI art tools, the most significant difference is in their approach to generating art. While Midjourney AI relies heavily on user input and custom prompts, other tools use pre-existing templates and styles to create their output. Another significant difference is in their target audience. Some tools cater more to artists and designers, while others target a broader audience with limited or no artistic experience. Thank you for watching our tutorial on using Midjourney AI for print-on-demand products. We hope you found this video helpful and informative. Be sure to check out our other tutorials on creating generative art and custom branding materials using Midjourney AI. And as always, happy creating!